so we're back again with now another NBA 2K18 My Team pack opening. With 2K decided to release some new promo packs, being these heat check packs, I need to open them. And to be honest, when they announced these players on Twitter, I wasn't too excited because they decided to release an Elgin Baylor, Kareem, Chris Mullen. But then I looked at the stats of all those players and I was really impressed. And the same with Chris Apps as well. He looks extremely good. And right now there are a lot of diamonds on the market. So I'm hoping I can either pull that Elgin or the Kareem and that would be nice as. So I'm at least going to be opening up 221 boxes. So let's get into the first one right now. And I'm actually really excited too for the rubies because the rubies look really nice. So first pack up, we're getting an emerald and that's that's pretty much it. Not really what I want to see, but it's Eric Bledsoe. I'm sort of expecting I will have to open up another box as we do get a ruby. Hopefully it's Manute Bowl and it's Jason Tatum who looks like a beast. I also just noticed he has a dynamic duo with that Kyrie. So that should be pretty nice for my budget squad. And 2K did tweet out like three weeks ago saying that they'll bring dynamic duos. And I don't know if that means if they're bringing out with new players or if they're actually going to add them to old players as well. Because to be honest, that will be pretty disappointing if they're only adding them to new players because I was sort of hoping that would that they will add them to like Vince Carter and everything. But unfortunately, it doesn't really seem that way so far. But next pack up, not really getting too much. Got one ruby so far and that's it. Hopefully we can get something good in this pack opening though. Because to be honest, my last promo packs really haven't been that good. Like I've got a few amethysts and that's legitimately it. Last time I did get a diamond, but it was a moments play. And this time we do get Eric Gordon who looks like a beast as well. And he also has a dynamic joy. They're just adding them left, right and center and fight while well, this pack up. We're getting an emerald. And yeah, we don't really want that. That there was a moments Willie Colley Stein. So it does look like they do have moments plays in these packs, which is a little bit disappointing. Just because in the past, they always just had promo players. And it means that when you saw a diamond flash, you're like, oh, that's a diamond but not really anymore. We only just got halfway through this first box though. And I don't know, it has looked all right. We have got a few rubies, another one here. And it's Manute Bowl, who looks like a beast. And he's a dynamic duo with Michael Jordan, which is insane. I definitely want to get a gameplay with that dynamic duo because I feel like Michael Jordan's stats are just going to go all the way up. And this time, another moments gold player. I don't really know how I feel about gold moments players being in these packs because it's a little bit annoying. If you see a diamond, you're not sure if it's from the collection or not. As I said, last promo packs, I pulled a diamond and I was like okay I think this is Kevin Durant and it turned out to be that DeMarcus Cousins it's just crazy how okay wow okay um Ruby Topper obviously not the best and who are we getting Eric Gordon once again so far every single player I've pulled from the collection has been a dynamic duo which is definitely an improvement another Ruby in this one and it's Jason Tatum I'm definitely happy they're starting to adding dynamic duos too and this one just golds and just silvers. Michael killed Gilchrist. And next pack up, not getting anything. We're getting, okay, we got an Amethyst Flash, but it's not even a player. So, oh, double Amethyst pack. I will definitely take that. I was really disappointed when I saw that first Amethyst, but we do get an Amethyst player. And I'm just hoping this is Chris Dapps. I'm also hoping it's not a moments player. So let's see who it is. Hopefully he's tall. And is it? No, it's Smith. That's Steve Smith right there. That is from the collection. I will definitely take that. Steve Smith, welcome to the squad. To be honest, I really haven't checked that card stats, but I'm just guessing he'll be a best because I know his Sapphire was extremely good. As we get a Ruby Joel Embiid right there. And next pack up, we get an Emerald. And that's pretty much it. And I'm pretty sure this is the end of the box. And after we got one Amethyst and all the Rubies in that box, I mean, it was okay but I'm sort of expecting a little bit better. So that's why I'm going to open up the second box and see how it goes. And I'm definitely hoping we can get a diamond at least. I don't know if that's a little bit greedy because I definitely have opened a lot of these packs and haven't got a diamond for a while. So I'm hoping I can. And first pack up, getting an emerald. And I think it's even a coach, which is definitely not good. Luckily though, in Australia right now, VC is 50% off. So it means I'm not spending as much money as we get Manute Bowl in this one. It's sort of disappointing what's in these packs though because I was definitely expecting at least a diamond melee as we get Ruby James Harden. And I know a lot of people were expecting Diamond Jamal Crawford too, but I, to be honest, I wouldn't have used him. So I'm sort of happy he's not in these packs, which really is a personal opinion as we do get a Ruby right here. And hopefully it's from the collection and it's Manu Bowl again, straight up. I'm just looking at all these cards, just thinking how nice they will be on my budget squad. All the Ruby cards that is, because they all look extremely good as we get a gold Chris Stapps. I'm definitely hoping I can get the Amethyst version of that card. And next pack up, Still not too much. I'm just waiting for that diamond. But to be honest, I really don't know if it's going to come as we get a Sapphire here. And that's definitely the player as I saw the shake and it's Brandon Ingram once again. I feel like this is super repetitive as this pack is just absolute trash. I want that diamond. I'm sort of feeling something on this one. So left, right, left again. 
and another ruby. I mean, rubies really aren't worth it. Like if you open packs and only get rubies, it's really not good. And this pack, only silvers and only bronzes. Definitely not the, okay, top, wow, okay. Another ruby topper. I don't know why all my toppers have been trash. I've only got one amethyst topper in my whole career. Of 2K18 that is, because I did get some good ones in two. Is that a diamond player? It is, no, okay. I'm so hoping that this is from the moments, no, not the moments collection from this collection the heat check i need this to be kareem if this is kareem i'm getting real hot let's flip this i don't know how hard to get because if it's a moments player i'm really not going to be is that kareem no it's dwight howard okay i'm really not complaining about that because this is seriously one of my favorite centers in the game 95 overall dwight howard there he is. Little story about that card. I actually did pick him up to do a gameplay and I got one of the best gameplays I've ever recorded. But if you didn't hear in my last video, I did say my camera broke and midway through that video, my camera just froze and straight deleted all my files. So I was unable to post that Dwight Howe gameplay on the day that I wanted to. And I was super disappointed because I got a 60 point triple double with him. And that was only missing five shots. And that was against that Diamond Hakeem as well. So I was extremely disappointed, but this pack would do get a ruby and it's Kyrie Irving that's the dynamic duo right there I'm guessing that Kyrie's price would have gone up as well as we do get another ruby back-to-back -back packs in the same spot and this one's Minute Bowl I feel like that ruby Michael Jordan would have got okay that's back-to-back to back packs and are we getting Minute Bowl again the answer is yes I really want to check the price of that ruby Michael Jordan because I feel like it's going to go all the way up as that pack did take a long time to load so I don't know maybe it's just loading up a diamond for me um yeah, the answer is no. And I know usually I would only do two boxes, but because VC is on sale, I decided to do three. So let's hit this up as the third one. And I don't know, hopefully this one treats me a little bit better as I am very hot. Okay, first pack and we get an Amethyst. As I said, I'm just hoping this is Chris Dapps pausing us and I'm hoping it's not a moments player. So second Amethyst of this pack opening, it definitely looks like a taller player. And I, oh, is it? Is that a bonus? I've got not, oh, it's Alex English. Okay, I did not know who that was, but we got Alex English. And I will definitely take that as the first pack of the box. And the next one, we get Draymond. Like I never get something good in the first pack. And again, uh, a Ruby topper. You already know, may as well not open 21 pack boxes because legitimately all I get is Ruby toppers. It's so annoying. And this pack's still nothing. And to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed so far. And I know that may seem a little bit greedy, but I just checked how many diamonds were in the auction and it was more than two pages full. So I know it seems pretty common, but maybe I can hit something good in this final box. Maybe we can come a little bit clutch as we do get another Ruby and it's Manu Bowl once again. I was hyped the first time I got him, but after the 10th time, not so much as we do get another emerald, but emeralds really mean nothing. Rubies just seem so common. I feel like they're going to go for 500 MT, which is definitely good for you budget ballers out there. And I feel like we're going to see so many Manu Bowls on the court. And this pack, still nothing. I just want a diamond from this collection. And that'll make me satisfied with this pack opening. In this pack, another ruby. And who is it? Eric Gordon. I feel like I haven't got that Eric Gordon in so long. I feel like I got him at the start. And that's pretty much it. Still, just golds and bronzes. And sorry about the lack of videos recently. It seriously just has been. I've been super busy. And also, my camera broke midway through. So it definitely hasn't been the best time for me. Because I've had to buy a new camera. And I'm still not sure if this one's good. But hopefully, every everything works out in this video as we did get another minute bowl and we got another ruby once again but rubies are so common and it's minute bowl again i just need to see that 98 overall kareem abdul jabbar pop out of these packs and back to back to back rubies this time jason tatum i don't know if it was back to back to back to be honest but is it back to back to back this time still bronzes and golds and it's very early in the morning right now so hopefully maybe that'll bring me some luck not, no, not in this pack. I'm just gonna chill for this pack, no. I was saying I was gonna chill, but I can't chill because we just got a diamond player and I need this to be Kareem. If this is Kareem or Elgin Baylor, I'm getting super hyped, but I really don't want this to be a moments play because if it's like Bradley Beal, James Harden, I will be disappointed. And who is, it looks like someone different. It look, it's Elgin Baylor, 98 overall. Elgin Baylor, finally, I got a diamond 
from the collection. There we go. It's a beautiful sight. I've been waiting to see that. A 98 overall in my packs, and there it is right there. I will get gameplay on that card, because to be honest, I think it'll be super underrated, because his Sapphire was an absolute monster. Like, straight up, his Sapphire was a card that I was thinking about getting on my budget squad, even though my budget squad is filled with rubies and amethysts. I just thought he would suit it very well, but now he's got a 98 overall diamond. You already know that card's going to be a beast, as we do get a Sapphire, Jamal Murray. And to be honest, I'm very happy I opened up that third box, because we did actually pull our first diamond, being the best diamond in the collection from 2K, being this 98 overall Elgin Baylor. Even though he's probably not the one that's going to go for the most, I think this Kareem will go for more. He's number one in the set, and I'm extremely happy with that. And finally, I think I can say it, I'm actually satisfied with one of these promo pack openings I did. Like, it's been a while, because this clutch closes pack opening, I got nothing the prime time I got nothing and same as all-star weekend but finally the heat check packs turned up as we did get this 98 overall Elgin Baylor so the question is do I recommend you guys open up these packs and it's actually a tough one because usually I only open up two boxes but this time I open up three and I finally got something good and three boxes is definitely a lot so to be honest you just have to be lucky if you're thinking about opening up these packs which is definitely a pretty bad answer but if you really want to get that Chris Paul and also if you think Kareem and Elgin Baylor are worth it, then I think these backs are a go. Because I definitely did get a very good player being this Diamond Elgin Baylor, and I'm not complaining. And not to mention, I did get a duplicate Dwight Howard, which goes for about 100k. So in this pack opening, I probably made about 400k, I'd say. So yeah, definitely not too bad, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, sorry about the videos in the past, but we're back now. Be ready for gameplays on these players from the Heat Check Packs. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.